Tim Adams here in the offices, the baseball offices, with the head baseball coach, Ty Neal. Uh, how many practices are you into your 33 practices now? 23. 23. So I think the last time we talked to you, you were just ready to start practice number nine down on the field. It's a rainy day out today. Mm -hmm. But uh, we want to get an update. Uh, you've always been very helpful to us, and uh, we love getting out the word on UC Baseball. But tell us how everybody's been doing. We've been doing well. We're working hard. The guys are working hard. Uh, the freshmen are learning big freshman group. Um, the freshmen are learning the grind. Uh, the grind is the time management and the, and the hours that they have to put, put in to, to become better baseball players. Of those new guys, we know the established fellas of the new guys. You were very impressed with Ryan Noda. He's a big kid. Yep. Um, I saw him at uh, one of your practices. and He didn't uh, last very long that practice, did he? Um, he was, I don't know, but did he leave early? I was there for about three and a half innings. Yeah, he, yeah. I, I, well, I thought you were rotating had, back through. I, I think he had a little trouble handling failure, and, and I think he was excused from practice. Oh, I didn't know that part of it. I, yeah, I, yeah. So yeah, he's already he's a veteran already. He's been Most joined up. <laughs> someone has to someone has to do that to make that wrong move and and uh, be an example for for everyone else. So who are some of the other young guys that have impressed you so far? Uh, position player wise. Very pleased with our freshman outfield, um, specifically three of the left-handed hitters, um, Noda Habercorn and uh, Chris Clank. And then in the infield, uh, I've, ch I've really challenged our middle guys. Our, our, our young middle infielders are very capable, um, specifically Manny Rodriguez and Kyle Moktais. And you know, I've challenged them. You know, if you're going to play in the middle of the diamond, you need to have some presence and and. Um, really lead the defense and uh, they're they're making strides um, we've got a few young guys swinging the bats pretty well a um, couple of right-handed hitters and and some of our lefties but really the big thing is it's a noticeable difference uh, we've got guys that can get down the line this year on offense and and you know that I think ultimately that's going to put some pressure on on the on opposing teams' uh, defenses that we play. And on the mound, uh, of course, I'm partial to left-handed pitching. Absolutely. I think our left-handed uh, freshman left-handers are settling in. Uh, we do The have... basketball team of left-handers? Uh, it's more the basketball team of right-handers. Okay. The basketball team of the right-handers. Um, you know, I think all guys are competing. Um, uh, you know, I do want to, you know, throw a compliment out to our older guys. Our older guys are are uh, doing a great job not only competing on the field, but they're doing a great job of, of leading our young guys. Um, it's a good mix. And they've stayed, they, you've lost a number, or not lost, but a lot of guys have gone other ways, but you, the guys that really want to stick it out with you and stay here, have, but there yeah. hasn't been a bunch of them. I mean, they, right. you, you came in here pretty demanding, and yeah. some people uh, wanted to leave the ship uh, and yeah. have, and that's the way you'd rather have it anyway. Yeah, you want guys that, that, that you know that that are on board, you know, no pun intended on the ship there, but uh, you want guys that are on board and, and want to, in my opinion, play the game the way it's supposed to be played. So you got a game Friday, how did this all come about? I just read about the game. Uh, we're allowed an international game in the fall that doesn't count um, toward our 56 games in the spring and and uh, we've developed a relationship with uh, Chris Robinson um, who kind of runs the show up there for this team. Uh, we've been active with him and communicating with him about some of his players and and he presented, hey, we're coming your way to play a few schools. Did you have any interest in playing us? And we said, sure, it's a no-brainer for us. Chance for us to compete and also, you know, hopefully see some guys that, that you know, future Bearcats. And that'll be Friday at March Shot at yeah, 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock. Rain three. or shine with the new turf. No matter what. Will you be practicing out? You won't be practicing out there today, will you? Today's an off day for us, okay. regardless of the rain. Yeah. Are you a Seinfeld fan at all? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't do a lot of TV, but I really, really appreciate Seinfeld, yes. You grab your wallet real quick so that <laughs> people can see this. <laughs> I got it. There's one episode where George has his wallet. Look at his yeah. wallet. It's like carrying and, a brick around. Notice, notice there's, no, there's no green in that. That's why it's not in my pocket. It has to be the biggest wallet I think I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. I'm a, little, I'm a little behind on some receipts. Well, 
So uh, we've got the game on Friday, we've got a few more practices, and then we've got the Red and Black Series coming up, and that's like that's four or five games, and when does five that games. Five games, when does that all start? That begins Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday, the 19th, and then we'll play five game series Sunday, Monday, Tuesday will be off, we'll play again on Wednesday, another off day Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday. Hopefully it'll hopefully it'll match up to, to a true game, five game series, and that Saturday game, um, Hopefully, it means something, and that'll be an early look for everybody to get to see a lot, so many Almost of the younger definitely. people. Yeah, all you Diamond Club members, you need to get out there. Monday is Diamond Club Appreciation Day. Um, we, we want you out and about, and uh, you know, just just to get a visual of of uh, of our club and what's what's ahead for the for the program. You bring up the Diamond Club. We I posted something on our message board the other day, and I had a guy wanting to join the Diamond Club, and I gave yeah. him a phone number. He said he wasn't having any success with that. So how can a person become a member? I know the the, the least amount is a hundred, but I'm sure you take even less for things. But mm -hmm. but uh, how can a person join the Diamond Club? If they have any trouble, call or email me. Uh, the best way is an email to me. My email is pretty simple. It's Ty Neil at uc.edu and, and Vince was the guy and he, he did reach out to me. Okay. Yep. So you added a Diamond Club member through uh, Bear County? I hope. I hope he's, yeah. Yeah, I hope he jumps on board. And that's the lifeblood. Coach Tubber always talks about the 1200 Club being the lifeblood of his, his uh, financial yeah. finances and Diamond Club certainly help you. It out. allows us to operate. We are limited here financially. Um, our, our athletic department, our business office, uh, they put a priority on on uh, team travel and um, you know and recruiting expenses that we have. So um, there are a lot of other expenses that come up uh, that that the Diamond Club funds really help. And then we're also doing now that we've got the turf down, we're going to try and do some exciting things within the stadium that are facelift facelift type things, uh, cosmetic things that. Uh, that quite frankly, it's not fair to us you know, for us to ask, you know, our athletic department for the extra funds when they do a great job of funding um, an almost uh, million-dollar program budget here. So uh, just with the scholarships and everything, so it helps. Every little help, every little dime helps. Occasional meals. Um, we need new batting cages um, in the uh, out in our indoor set up that we're going to have to use the funds for that this winter so uh, just every little thing that pops up the Diamond Club is 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 very helpful. And you mentioned recruiting of course you're not allowed to talk about recruiting but I have some information about a new recruit on our message board there and uh, let me just tell you impressive in that the little YouTube thing I saw whoa the kid can really swat the fly man. I, I try and sum it up in what is it four words the Bearcats are coming. <laughs> Chad, do you have anything to add? No, I think you guys handled it all professionally today. <laughs> Other than the ball bit, but I couldn't resist uh, saying that. I mean, <laughs> you, you put them on the spot. It, takes, it, it won't fit in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, I drive, I have to drive like Oh, this, I can see so, that. Yeah, yeah, you got the lead, the Detroit it, lead. Yeah. It goes in my... It goes in the floorboard and the car and on my desk at work. Okay. Well, here we are Tuesday. We'll get this up at Bearcat Journal again. Thanks to Ty Neal for helping us out. And UC Baseball Friday, 4 o'clock, if you want to come out and see the youngsters and the veterans play.